Yes, I know the door is broken and I will need to fix it at some point, but that's not to the project. It appears that one of the wheels lost the bead and released all the air. So I will try to fix it right now by using a starter fluid and a lighter and of course air compressor. But if it doesn't work that way, when all the weight is standing on it, then I will have to remove the wheel and try to beat it that way. So let's give it a try I guess and see what's happening. Now, it's definitely not gonna work. So, I will have to remove that wheel and try to fix it that way. I'm not really sure how I didn't even notice it when I was checking the lawnmower tractor a couple days ago. I guess it just happens. I see big cracks right here on the tire. So I actually think this might be lost cause. It's probably leaking air. So let's try that starter fluid trick again. Hopefully it works. If not, I will probably have to replace the tire itself. I think it's losing air. Ah. Yeah, I can hear it. It definitely losing air. Anyway, let's drain old fuel and see if lawn mower actually starts. Okay, old fuel out, new fuel in. Let's try to start that bad boy and see that it's working and everything is good.
warm up and let it go for next 15 to 20 minutes. Meanwhile, I'm going to check out the view and see what's going on. If I can reinstall it or if I will have to replace it. The grass is pretty deep. Good thing that I started to cut in it now. Another week and it would be horrible. It's already so big that when I cut it, it looks like it's been carpet bombed. I will show you after I'm done how it looks like. But believe me, it's not a pretty look. Front yard lawn has been cut. Looks like disaster, but at least it's not overgrown anymore. The time right now about 9 p.m., 8.30 p.m. in the evening. I will be wrapping up the day. Let me just show you how the front yard looks like. So, the wheel I have fixed yesterday seems to be holding. I still will need to replace it because of how cracked it is here, but hopefully it will hold for the summer and then next year I will replace it. Anyway, today we're going to work on electric fence and we're going to fix it and hopefully test it if we have enough time. But first, let's check on the cattle and see how they are doing. They have grown so much that the cell is almost too small for them right now. And they're a little bit cranky today. As I started getting them off the milk replacer, and instead they're getting grain. They're still getting milk once a day for next three days, but all in all, they're about to move completely to the grain. Which means we need to fix that electric fence so I can get them out. Right, big boy? You're good, you're good. Food is coming soon. I know you want the milk. Good boy. Good boy. They look really good and healthy. All three of them.
So before I actually fix the fence and make it ready for the next batch of calves that I have right now, we have to remove that portion of the fence, remove the body of the dead calf, and then fix, put it all back, and then put it all back, and then I can work on the rest of the fence. And make sure that everything works and there are no shorts. Now there is a reason why I had to remove that part of the fence to get inside instead of using that green gate right over there. And the reason is that area that you see in front of you is all wet. It's kind of lower ground and all the water gets inside of it. So that area is always ends wet to be the longest. It will dry out in a month, but I need to get my calves out next week already. You can see yourself how wet it is. So, if I were to get with my tractor in, that tractor would get stuck and I never get in it out. On the contrary, the area where I need to get with my tractor in is much higher ground and so it dries up much faster. And usually stays dry all the time. You can see it yourself. <laughs> We have removed that calf and about to go back to repairing that hole in the fence that I opened. But before we go, I would like to clarify something about that dead calf. It's not like I have uh, calves dying on me left and right. In fact, last year, out of three years that I've been having a cattle, was the first year that I actually lost some calves. Two of them, out of 25. First one was accidental death. I believe he got pushed in a barn and get hit with head on a concrete floor. Big boy, about 450 pound weight. So, very painful to lose something like that because you raise, you take care of it, and then suddenly you lose them. And the second one was the one that I removed just now. It's unfortunate reality that when you take cattle from the barn sales, when you take them small, that you're gonna lose up to 10%. Another unfortunate reality is 
that when you have a livestock, you will have a dead stock. Okay? And consider that my cattle never gets antibiotics or any kind of medication like that. I try to take them healthy and I try to raise them the right way. Feed them properly, keep them clean, give them clean water and take care of them in any possible way. So, out of three years, last year was the only time I actually lost calves. And I hope it never will happen, but the reality is, it probably will. But I just wanted to let you know that it's not like I have dead cattle left and right all the time. What you saw me doing today is more like an emergency. It's more like something that happens once in a blue moon. So, the way we fix in the wire is that we're going to connect two of them. We're going to tighten them and then we're going to cream them together. So many damn mosquitoes. I better finish fast or they will eat me alive. Okay, it's too short, so we're gonna use a small high tensile wire to connect between them. Something like that. And then we're gonna just crimp it. Okay, so it's getting really late and mosquitoes been eating me alive. I can't really stay here anymore. Plus, I need to wake up tomorrow 4 o'clock for work. I will be wrapping up today and continue tomorrow after I come back from the work. But that will go into another video. I guess part 2. Now, if you like the video, please click like and subscribe and I will see you soon.